episode 85 and one of my subscribers mr paul page has requested that i go down onto the streets and do some live street photography i don't do that but you know what it's such a nice day i'm gonna do that in the right hand we have the lord of the red rings the canon 135mm f 2.0 on a 6D2 DSLR. And in the right hand, we have the Canon M50 with the EFS 10 to 18. Now I'm gonna attempt to take some street photography shots with it, the 6D2, while capturing all that I'm doing with the M50, which I'm gonna attempt to vlog with. This has never been done before. So if it goes wrong, Mr. Paul Page, it's your fault. Stick with us and see what happens. Zoom. I hope you're happy. Get it on. Get it on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's, that, look, that looks pretty good. Well, this is what you wanted. Expose street. Expose. Hey, we've got seagulls out there. This is what you wanted. This is what you asked for. Um, techniques busting exposés with, I'm actually using the um, 62 and 135. And I'm out on sunny South London in sunny Brixton. As you can see, let me spin around. So we're out with the 135. I'm gonna hopefully see if this can work. This has never been tried before. I'm actually holding the M50 in one hand and my 62 in the other hand. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but it's worth a try. I'm gonna try, see if I can get some nice long range, long range candids or whatever I can pick up with um, my 62. And then it's not really a techniques busting because I don't really use a 62 on the street anymore. I use a 50. M50, but I'm filming with the M50. Maybe I'll switch it, switch it around and see, see what I can get later on. But anyway, this is um, never been done before. This is um, a watershed moment out here on life and times of the multiple media managers. Stick with us, let's see. Might get some stuff, we might not get anything, but that's how it goes in street photography. So stick with us, let's see. Let's see how we do. We've got a very nice day. It's evening. We've got some nice shadows. We've got some nice light. Uh, let's see what happens. Stick with us. Keep them peeled. Zoom. Okay, I think I have just seen my first shot. I think I just seen my first shot. Have a look at this. 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 Look at this. Over there, guy standing by the bus stop with a nice brim hat. Asking for it, really, just asking. Yeah, easy peasy. Let's move on. It's a bit busy out here today, so we might not get anything. Um, the good thing about one, look, there's another one. I see another one. I see another one. I see another one. There's a lot of traffic out here, so I'm trying to shoot in between. In between, with a 135, you can shoot right away across the road. So we stay on the shady side, and the sunny side's over there. And we see, I saw, I saw a nice, I saw a nice shot, but it's gone now. You have to move real fast because there's so much traffic out here at this time. Uh, there's a nice one over there. I don't, over there. I don't know if you can see. It's right between the bus. We're gonna have to wait for the bus and the traffic to move. And I don't think. I'm gonna be patient, you know. I don't like standing still for too long on the streets because it draws too much attention. Anyway, look, the bus is moving. Let's see if we can get that shot. Anyway. Not sure I got that one. I got some, but maybe not the way I wanted. Anyway, still. Early days, we're just warming up our lens. 
and it's all good. Onwards and upwards. Zoom. The good thing about using 135 is that you can look further. Hey, how you doing? Good, 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 good. Look further down the road. You have to look further down the road to see the shot before it comes because by the time you see it, if you're not looking further down the road, it's upon you. So you've got to look further, further, like two, three blocks, maybe not three blocks, but two blocks down the road to see if, see what's materializing before it actually materializes. So, um, yeah, that's the thing with the, the 135. Maybe if I bought the 35, then I could have, you know, got some, some more close in shots. But as it is, we just got the 135, so let's roll with that and see what we get and see what we can do. Some nice shadow across the road there. Across the road there. Across the road there. So let's see if we can get something across there. Let's see what we can get. Missed that one. Come on, baby. Dang. Universe don't like me, man. Just gotta roll with it. Okay, that one didn't really work out too well. Too much traffic. Uh, too much build up. So I'm gonna see if I can find a different spot. And maybe camp out somewhere. I was looking for the, a nice bit of shadow and a nice bit of light. Maybe we've left it a bit too late. Because all the shadow's high. And the light isn't where I want it to be. Well, so go. We roll with it and see what we get. See what we can do. Just keep moving. Keep rolling. There's a nice one over there. Nice bit of light. Might have got something. Who knows? Wait till we get home. And then we'll see. We'll see. I usually camp out under this bridge. We get some nice shots with Brixton across the road there. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can usually get some nice shots there. Sunshine's gone and I've got this, this lens is too tight for this. My 35. You get some nice shots across there sometimes. I'm giving away all my nice places. My nice locations. Let's see what we can get. nice subject to backgrounds over there and also over there there's a nice pool of light you can see as they're crossing the road so that's another nice place as well let's see what we can get if there's anything as you can see just gotta be patient a bit of jam out here today and that's not really what you want. But I'm looking for a nice, if you look over there, you've got a nice background. You know, with the 135, it's a bit close. I'm a bit close, so. It's challenging shooting with a 135. It's nice, but it's challenging, so. Um, that was a nice one. Hey, Tink. It's just about being patient. Sometimes I'm not patient. You gotta be patient, man. See it there, see it there, see it there. Don't you know I wanna hold you? Yeah, man. So it's about getting a nice location and just camping out. <laughs> go on, you, go on, you, go on, you, go on, you. And that's what you get as well when people see you with a the camera. They try and bend and hide. And that's not really what you want. You want them to be in the shop. So you gotta hide from them and snipe them. It's all good. It's a nice little location, this, but hey. Hey, 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 hey. It's hot enough. It's getting a bit too hot, so I'm gonna have to move. I don't like staying in one place for too long, so I have to keep moving. I have to keep moving. All right, watch this, 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 watch this. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Sometimes you have to use it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. 
Perfect, perfect. How about that then? Zoom. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. You just gotta keep moving in boogie down Brixton. Right, watch this, watch this. Let's see if I can get a next one. Sometimes you can get a next one. You see that guy standing all the way down there? There's a guy standing in the way, and right behind him, there's a guy in a pink woody top. That's what I'm trying to get. This guy on the phone is in the way. Now, do I wait for him to move? Do I kind of sneak up next to him and shoot around him? What do I do? Uh, I'm going to try and shoot around him. He's like camping out for good. He's like he's not trying to move. The guy in pink hoodie top is moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. So, um, he's gone. He must have known I was, I was trying to shoot him. He's gone, he's gone. you got to move so fast when you do this. you got to move so fast, so fast. One minute the shot is there. One second the shot is there. The next second it's gone. It gone. Zoom. You've got to move really quickly. Sometimes you get something and sometimes you don't. So, so it go. And the good thing about the 135 is you're so far away, people don't even realize you're shooting them, even when they see the lens pointing at you, at them. They assume it's something else because you're so far away. So anyway, anyway, so we go, so we go. Let's see what we can get. Okay, this is usually a good place, right on Electric Avenue, the junction. If you look down that way, you can see the market. If you look down that way, you can see where we just came from. Look down that way, you can see going up to Brixton Town Hall. It's a very busy junction and you can just stand here and sometimes get some good shots. Maybe not with a 135. I'd probably be better being all the way over there on the other side of the road and pointing down into this nice light. So that's what I'm going to do across the road and go over that way. Don't try this at home. Always cross at the crossing. I couldn't even stand in the middle of the road here. Looks a bit bait though. See, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Don't you know I wanna hold you? I could have got that one, couldn't I? Here we go. It's a nice light. How about this one here? How about this one? Here? This way, ma'am. No, she's looking the other way. Of course, because she's crossing the road. Why would she look this way? So it go. Here's a nice one. Everyone's looking the wrong way. See, they see, they see. They don't you know I wanna hold you? Spin around. See, they see, they see. Don't you know I wanna hold you? Okay, let's move. Going back across the road now. Nothing's really happening over that side. And it could be because I'm just not being patient. Patience has a lot to do with street photography. Patience, patience, you've got to have patience. And uh, I guess because I'm doing a vlog at the same time, it doesn't help. But hey, let's move over this way. Maybe we can get down the market. Down the market. You know what I mean? Get down the market. Everything good? <laughs> Yeah, and that's the thing as well, when you shoot in your own locality so many people that you see, that you know, and it kind of like takes your attention away and this is kind of difficult being in the market because I'm too tight now for, for this lens really it's too tight, 35 or 1635 would be great inside here but you know, I like to switch it up 
and try something different. It might work, it might not work. But hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm trying not to pho photograph certain things. But it's hard. If you know what I'm saying. It's kind of tough. Okay, so look further down the road and maybe pick out some portraits or something. Today, man, it's really nice. Here we go, there's a nice one. Let's see if we can spin around and get this shot here. Let's see if we can do this. Universe! Here's a nice one, nice one, nice one, and move on really quickly. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. The famous Brixton Market. Here's a nice one. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's all good. 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 Nice one. See it there? Proper things. <laughs> Proper things. It's all good, man. Yeah, man. Keep it going. Yeah. Anyway, there's a nice one. There's a nice one. Let's see if we can get some. Beautiful. It is just a day for it, really, today. It's just a day for it. Maybe not with us. 135 is a bit tight. But all things work for good for those who focus on what they're doing and love the Lord I just made that one up okay here's some nice light over here let's see if we can camp here and if there's a nice light across the road there maybe we can do something with it let's see what we can get subject to grounds today the universe doesn't like me don't know what I did something in a previous life I guess doesn't like me we work with it anyway let's see what we can get it's all good it's all good it's all good look down there look down there look down there look down there can you see what can you see what can you see Tricky. It's tricky to rock around to rock around the flat on time. It's tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. It's tricky, man. Right. You know you have to take the picture of the famous mod Brixton models that have been here since 1959 or whenever it was the first Asian shop in Brixton. I already interviewed the owner and he told me that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm very proud of the fact. It's all good. Anyway, we've got some nice light down there. <clears throat> but we really need it to be shining on the faces. Otherwise it won't work. Otherwise it won't work. You know? It's all good. Hopefully we've got something here. Sometimes you can be out here shooting and you don't get nothing. There's a nice little pool of light right there. Maybe we can use it, but it's closing up really fast. So maybe not. There's a Brixton mural. The people reckon he's me. It's not me. It looks like me, but it ain't me. Okay? It's an imposter. <laughs> Zoom. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It does look a little bit my head. What do you reckon? Am I doing the pose? It's all good. Could get some shots here, but I've got my lens is too tight. It's too tight. It's too tight. It's too tight. There's Pep Guardiola over right there. Looks like Pep Guardiola. Well, City are out of Champions League, so it might be him. 
Let's see what happens. Did I get it? It's all good. All right, we're running out of light now. Well, we're not actually running out of light, but we've got too much shade. So, so maybe we can't get what we... Up there is another good shot that we will try to get. Sometimes you can see people looking over from the train station and you get some good silhouettes up here sometimes. There's no heads at the moment, so. It's a nice little shot though. When they are looking over. No one's looking over at the moment, so. Sight go, sight go, sight go. That's a nice. Mannequins, you know when you're taking pictures of mannequins that means you're not doing well in your, in your street photography when you're taking pictures of mannequins. Sight go. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. This might not be the place to be shooting. It's a bit bright. Sun directly in the in the lens. It's not really a good unless we're gonna be shooting that way. I'm a bit of an opportunist shooter in Brixton. I don't really go on photo shoots in Brixton as such. I care about camera when I see something, I pull it out, but I thought, let me do something today with what I have and um, see if we can make it work and it's not going to be easy it's not going to be easy especially with 135 but hey I accept the challenge see all these bars gentrified Brixton there's a nice one there's a nice one see if I can get it see if I can get it see if I can get it Perfect. <laughs> Zoom. I think that's a nice one. That's a nice one. I think that's a nice one. It's all good. Some nice light down here. Oop. Tough old lens. I just hit it against coffee table. Drop this in the street, you know. And the lens filter broke, but the lens was fine. It's made of metal. That's a nice one, that's a nice one, that's a nice one. It's all good. Sometimes you just gotta shoot and move. Shoot and move. Just shoot and move. Sound like a dance. Just shoot and move. Just shoot and move. Just look through the lens and shoot and move. Look to the lens and shoot and move. Look to the lens. Look to the lens. Look to the lens and shoot and move. Shoot and move. Shoot and move. Look to the lens and shoot and move. Shoot and move. Shoot and move. Look to the lens and shoot and move. Look to the lens and shoot and move. Kind of works. Helps if you're mad. People don't approach you after you've taken the shot if you're mad. Be mad. Look through the lens and shoot and move. Look through the lens and shoot and move. Look through the lens and shoot and move. Shoot and move. Shoot and move. Look through the lens and shoot and move. It's all good, man. This is my techniques, street photography techniques busting expose of how to shoot with a 135 in Boogie Down Brixton, sunny South London, on a nice day with a 6D2. DSLR. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Hopefully we've got some good shots. We'll see in it. In it. Zoom. Okay, we're on the longest leg of the journey. I just did a little once round to see if I could see anything. Just shot over there, can you see that? See if we could see anything. Last leg of the journey. And uh, I think we've got some 
one or two shots. I saw something over there. Oh, it's gone. Last leg of the journey, and we're just mopping up now as we go back to the apogee. And um, it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll have a look and see what we got. I try not to look on the back of the camera when I'm in the street because oh, there's a nice shot there, but the bus is in the way. Dang, 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 dang. Let's see if we can get this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And he was in the, he was in the sunshine. The sun was glinting off that the white Muslim outfit and it just looked really good. But on the other side of the bus, it kind of like wasn't, he was in shade, so it didn't pop the way it popped before. But sometimes you have to just take what you get and be happy. So yeah, last leg of the journey, I'm on my way back home now. I'm gonna have a look when I get home to see what we got. Can we get anything? Can we get anything? Come on, come on. Perfect, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. There's a mosque, Brixton Mosque across the road there. Salam alaikum. Walaikum salam. And it's all good. We'll see what we get when we get home. And um, if we've got nothing, we've got nothing, don't blame me. As I said, I don't normally go out with a 62 with a 135. It's nice to go out with a 62 and a 135. I do it once in a while. And it's nice. But I normally shoot with a M50, which is what I'm filming with at the moment. Normally shoot with an M50 with a 1018, which is what I'm filming with now. I was gonna swap it over, wasn't I? I'll do some filming with this, some shooting with that. Now that's the real techniques. And we'll see what we get. We'll see what we get. I'm quite in anticipation to see what we got. I can't even remember the last time I was out here with a 135. But it felt good, it's nice. You know, 62 feels great in your hand, it's not heavy at all. This um, lens is quite not heavy, it feels comfortable. I could carry it for hours. I not feel stressed and that is that's the ting in it the ting that's the ting that is the ting so um yeah I think it's time to go home now let's go home let's go home and see what we got on the camera yep zoom 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 let's go Wanted to get a shot of that throw, but <laughs> didn't work out. Let's go back. Let's go back home. Okay, okay. You were right, Mr. Page. It kind of worked out nice. I enjoyed myself out there with my 62 and the 135. It was a bit awkward uh, doing the filming thing. But I think it kind of worked out. So, you know, we've started a new little thing here. Thanks to you. It's all good. And that's why, you know, you keep those questions coming. Keep them requests coming. And you never know where we may end up. Um, I think maybe we'll switch these around next time. And I'll actually do some street photography with my M50. And I'll do the filming with the 62. I'll probably put the 16 to 35 on here because the 135 won't work and see how that goes, you know? It's so versatile that you can just swip, switch the left hand and right hand over and still get something. So, episode 30, 30, episode 86 is all set. Street photography with an M50 and filmed with a 62. Let's see what happens. Thanks for that. Zoom, it's all good. Do 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 do
Upload, upload, do 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 do